What's going on guys? Sam Adams here and welcome to another episode of On The Topic Of and today we are going to be talking about something that I didn't plan on making a video on. Uh, I was going to make an entire video talking about Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4. I was going to be talking about all of the release date information and all of the features and things that were going to be coming to that game. But no, instead I'm going to be focusing on a tweet uh, which I found to be very, very interesting. In fact, it is a string of tweets that I think is important to address, it's important to understand, and it's important to really take note of because they are very, very impactful. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. Now this is actually a string of tweets from at Slasher over there on Twitter. Now he has, of course, been famous for a lot of different things to my knowledge, but for me, in my own life, he's the one that broke the news about the layoffs that Twitch was going to be suffering last Friday. Uh, and he pretty much was the one that everybody retweeted, he was the one that everybody quoted, he was the one that was the big, you know, pillar in the gaming community about who broke the story first, at least from my perspective. I'm sure there was somebody else that got it out there before he did, but from my understanding in the way that I received the news, that was the guy that did it. Anyways, this week he is talking about something else that is kind of similar in nature, uh, which is the fact that there are some changes over there at Twitch Studios that are kind of coinciding with layoffs that are impacting what we're getting with convention coverage. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive into these tweets. For those of you at PAX East and online, you may notice something missing at Twitch. As part of Twitch's new direction and layoffs to the Twitch Studios team, there will no longer be a Twitch live show from PAX nor at most gaming events anymore. This includes no more showing off new games, interviews with devs, streamers, esports players, and events such as PJ Salt and Twitch, the platform for live streaming video games, will no longer live stream at the biggest gaming events of the year. It's a step backwards. It's okay though, because now you can have your very own Twitch lunchbox, which is absolutely what everyone was waiting for. Hashtag bleed purple. So let's break this down and talk about it for a minute. Back in the day, whenever I was probably about 8 or 9 years old, maybe 10, I was always watching E3 coverage via G4 TV. Now for those that don't know what G4 was, it was a TV station centered around gaming and gaming culture, and so that was pretty much where I got the majority of my coverage. You had people from X-Play like Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb covering the hottest gaming news. You had people from Attack of the Show like Kevin Pereira and uh, Olivia Munn and a couple of other hosts that would come in from time to time uh, covering all of the information that was coming out of these major conferences that we all really did care about and so that's where I kind of grew up and that's why I feel like I've become the person that I am today uh, really those events and that coverage made me into the man that I am now at age 21 and so uh, whenever G4 shut down and I became you know uh, kind of in need of a new place to find this information I switched over to Twitch and that's where I've been getting the majority of my conference coverage ever since and that's pretty much since around the age of 14 and again now I'm 21 uh, so of course between YouTube and Twitch coverage I've been keeping up with all the big conferences and it's been kind of a standalone pillar of every conference season uh, that Twitch is going to be having some kind of event where it's hosted by DJ Wheat or uh, perhaps another kind of host maybe Spam Fish somebody like that Future Man Gaming has done it a couple of times uh, but it's always going to be some kind of big show put on by Twitch to celebrate what we have going on within the gaming culture uh, the new games that are coming out the developers the esports players as you know at Slasher on Twitter said there are so many different facets of this and it was so amazing to see the community come together over one big convention via twitch.tv slash twitch or whatever kind of stage uh, it may have been broadcasted on. As a matter of fact, going back to some of the streamers that have been featured as host, we have Spamfish here, a fantastic streamer. If you haven't checked him out, twitch.tv slash Spamfish. Uh, but he says, and I quote, the amount of opportunity and inspiration these events provided for streamers, devs, viewers, and the community are unquantifiable. Hosting for Twitch literally changed my life forever. Hopefully, this is a temporary readjustment, still in shock. And of course, he was quoting the tweet from at Slasher that we discussed earlier. And with that, I want to throw in my two cents. Spamfish is completely and totally correct in what he is saying. Uh being able to host your own event allows you to show off what you are capable of. You can conduct interviews. You can fill space and airtime that would normally be just complete and total silence. You can show your charisma, your personality. You can show what you can do on an information based. How are you covering the shows? How are you covering the games? What are you doing with the developers to make engaging content? This is where you really thrive and show what you are capable of on a live platform. That's whenever you reach out and you talk to companies and companies reach back out to you and you become some kind of affiliate uh, with certain companies to where if there's a new console coming out, you could be somebody that promotes that. If there's a new game coming out, you could be the PR guy. If there is a new whatever it may be, you can be the guy that helps branch that gap between the developer, the producer, the content creator, whatever it may be, and the community that they are trying to reach. There is so much opportunity in hosting that it is such a shame that Twitch doesn't see that and it's taking that away, at least at this point in time. Taking a step back and going to the formative kind of thing that I was talking about earlier, without some kind of direct presence via Twitch itself at things like at things like E3, uh, then there's going to be a lack of inspiration 
uh, for those that are younger looking on and seeing what hosting can be capable of, seeing what it means to be a content creator, because truly content creating isn't about sitting there playing a game, talking to people online. It's about being able to control your words, to be able to have a conversation, uh, to be able to really communicate well with anyone and everyone, and to be able to put that show on. And not everybody has that skill, and it's watching, it's observing how people do that in such a skillful way uh, that can really influence you and impact you and create the next generation of content creators. And that's pretty much what I am fearing that Twitch isn't realizing is that they have such a huge pull in what the next generation of content creators is going to be like. They have such a loud voice uh, that for them to give up hosting events like this and for them to give up uh, spotlighting people in the community by putting them on stage and giving them the chance to show what they're capable of, it just feels wrong. It feels like they're missing out on such an important point. Uh, and it's just... It's, it's sad. Now, of course, maybe I'm placing too much importance on this, but let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Let me know. And if you happen to be new to the channel, I do upload new stuff throughout the week, so I would love for you to check out those videos. And I'm live streaming, and we're kind of in a transitional period. I'll be trying stuff here on YouTube. I'll be trying stuff on Mixer. We're going to be trying different things, but one thing is for sure... Twitch is changing. I made an entire episode of Decaf on it, the podcast that I've been doing, and it just continues to grow stranger and stranger by the day. Uh, so with that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I will talk to you soon. Peace.